and into battles. Battles, battles, battles galore. Oh, hello there, level 2 Starly. I see that you might be angry at me for killing your brother earlier. Well, I don't care, because I'm going to kill you as well. So, pretty much in Route 201, and I think, well, I think it is just Route 201 at the moment. You can only come across two certain Pokemon. This one, Starly, who are pretty dang awesome. I like them, they're not bad for your normal flying type Pokemon. And then there is a Pokemon that literally gave me hell on my old playthrough of Diamond and Platinum. And even spawned my catchphrase of damn, and then pretty much the Pokemon in question. And then there was usually other Pokemon that got on my nerves so badly that I even made a list of which Pokemon were on my damned list. What Pokemon lurk in tall grass? They can come bursting out at any time, so if you're wanting to battle wild Pokemon, just walk in tall grass. If you want to avoid wild Pokemon, then stay out of tall grass. Wow, what a very useful piece of advice, considering that if we wanted to avoid the Pokemon, we can't. Because in some areas, just like this certain route, you have to walk through tall grass in order to proceed. If your Pokemon's health that's its HP, is getting low, you should go home and get some rest. Yes, because us resting will surely mean that the Pokemon rests as well. Is this the Pokemon that gave me hell? No, it's just another goddamn story. Level 2, female. I think they're all just angry at me now for that sexist joke earlier about where women should belong. I, I'm very sorry about that. Um, something useful get interrupted by a Pokemon. Is this Pokemon in question? It is Pokemon in question. Bit of I freaking hate Bit of Simply put, because I think it was my Platinum Adventure, or it might have been Diamond, I can't really remember. It was one of the two, obviously. When I was looking for two certain Pokemon, I came across, during that time of trying to find two Pokemon, those two Pokemon, I came across about, and I'm not joking, 15 freaking bitters. I know what you're thinking, that's not really that bad, I mean, come on, they're just bitters. But 15 of them just keep popping up and annoying me to hell. And that's where damn bitters came from. Anyway, for killing that bit of we luckily l l get a level up, which is sweet. Anyway, if you speak to this employee of Pokemon, you can get the potion because for some reason, some crazy, crazy reason, you can't get a potion from your PC. Yeah, yeah it's another damn bit of. Good, good times. Good, 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 good times. Uh, don't worry about all this sh stupid shenanigans of battling wild Pokemon. I mean, just like I explained in Emerald, at least I'm pretty sure I did, or it could have been one of those episodes that I can't upload. Well, anyway, when it comes to wild Pokemon, I would tend to just cut out the battles because you really just don't want to see me battling the same old Pokemon over and over again, so unless it's a Pokemon we haven't actually seen before, then yeah, then it might be different, or if I'm actually kind of speaking and then getting into a battle, I don't know. But anyway, let's just get the heck out of this goddamn grass, and just send him down. Do, 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 do. Hi, I've been waiting for you, please. Come with me. The prof's waiting to see you. Ah, uh, the prof. See? This is our Pokemon Research Lab. We'll just go ahead and... Ford. What the? My theme's not playing. What did you do, Dawn? Anyway, that old guy. He's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Uh, I see doesn't matter, Dawn. You'll see, or whatever. What was that? Your friend always seems to be in such a rush. Anyway, let's go in. Phew. 
Finally, you've come. Dawn, was it? Let me see your Pokemon again. Oh, uh, yeah, about it being level 6. It wasn't my fault, it was this damn bitter if that got in my way and... He had it coming. Wow, uh... Thanks, I guess? Okay, okay, okay. Well, <clears throat> considering that in my Emerald playthrough, or Emerald, you know, whatever, I, uh, named my starter Rumia because of the fact that with her arms stretched out, Trico kind of reminded me of Rumia from T Toho 6. But this time, Chimchomp's not reminding me of any real Toho character unless you count Fujiwara. Because of you know, fire and such. Anyway, um, so I'm just gonna genetically name my starter after my username, sort of. Minus the gamer. Yes, I am happy with said name. Boy, am I glad you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, well, I would just... I don't even want to think about it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, you may notice that my voice changes from time to time, but we don't really need to go into much detail. I mean, it's just a freaking voice. It doesn't really matter, does it? No. But also, I want you to know exactly what kind of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. Well, there's Turn Twig, and then I've always been grow uh, Oh, that, it was, that was a rhetorical question. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokédex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokédex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokémon in Sinnoh for me? I don't really want to, but if it'll help me progress the storyline, then sure. Let's get the Pokédex. The device is a very high-tech de- Okay, whatever. T butchering words is butchering. I've got the same kind of Pokédex as you. Wow! I'm holding my thumb up. Anyway. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I feel a bit tired, but then again, I'm always tired because my sleeping pattern is pretty much screwed. Now go! I don't want you around here anymore. You're making the place smell like girl. Can we leave? Let's leave. Hey Dawn, I want to show you a few things. Yes, the generic follow me. I'll explain it in my own way. <clears throat> this is your typical Pokemon Center. It, how do I notice? Well, simply put, it has a red roof. If you see it have a red roof and a Pokemon sign and, well, looks like this, then that is your Pokemon Center. Simply put, if your Pokemon ever get weak, or such, uh, take them there, and they will heal your Pokemon up for free. Yes, for free. You can also do some other stuff, which will come available to us at certain points throughout the game or whatnot. You know, that's pretty much it. Anyway, next up is your blue Pokemon. Looks kind of like the Pokemon Center, but it's a bit smaller. And it's blue. Uh, basically, this is where you can kind of sell any crap you don't want or buy stuff you really need, like poison heals or something. Or antidotes, as they're called. <laughs> uh, what a Pokemon Mart has depends on where it is, you know, what town or city it is. Because each town and city's Pokemon Mart kind of differs in what they have in stock. Kind of sucks, I know, but whatever. 
And that pretty much kind of covers all that stuff. And oh yes, Lucas wants us to go home to tell our mummy where we're going. Uh. So let's do such. Let's do such indeed. But on Route 202, if you try just leaving without telling your mummy. Dawn! Did you tell your family that you're helping the professor? I bet you didn't, did you? I know that you're eager to see all kinds of Pokemon, but you shouldn't make your mom worry that you're up and left. Yes, for somehow Lucas has some sort of mind reading powers like he's Satori or something. And just, by the way, that's another Toho reference. I do a lot of those. Um, yeah, and he just knows that you haven't told your mom. What the hell? What the hell? Anyway, you can jump down these ledges. Makes it easier. Can't climb back up them, even though they're not that freaking high, are they? Unless they're a freaking cliff, which in that case, then probably. <sighs> hey, mom, I'm here to tell you something so I can help progress the story. Oh, fine, heal me. What's up, Dawn? Well, you see, I went to Professor Rowan to see what was going on, and we bumped into Barry, and he was going on about saying about how the professor's actually pretty not that all bad and whatever, and then we went inside, and he was having, we have a nice conversation, and he was actually checking out my Pokemon, and he said I can actually have it, which was pretty awesome, and then I got a chance to name it, and I couldn't really think of anything clever to come up with, so I just called it Tongue Geek, which is simply put, because it's my username account, it minus the gamer, because, you know, it has gamer in the title, but whatever, I don't want to get into too much detail. And so after that, he then babbled on about Pokemon and such, and told me how I felt when I runs to want loot to a one. And by doing so, and then he's told me to do some sort of stupid request for him by going around seeing all the Pokemon in, re in uh, Sinnoh, which is kind of stupid, really, because, I mean, that's going to take forever or something, and I'm pretty sure he can't really see all the Pokemon in Sinnoh, but I'm pretty sure he probably can, I don't know, I, I'm not really new to all this kind of stuff, well, I am kind of new to all this stuff, anyway. So he gave me a Pokedex, and then we went outside, and then there was Lucas just waiting there for some reason, and he wanted to show me a Pokemon Center and a Pokemon Mine, which I already know what they are, because I'm so totally awesome, I looked them up on the internet on the computer that doesn't give me a potion for some goddamn reason. And then when I went off the Route 202 without even telling you that I'm going off the Route 202, for some reason Lucas had mind being powers and knew I didn't tell you that I was going off the Route 202, and then he told me to go home to tell you that I was going off the Route 202. So you see where I'm going with this, okay? Wow! Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Oh, and we get a journal which is completely and utterly useless, and it's just there to be like, Oh, look, this is completely new, but it's completely useless. It records up to, like, the last ten days, and all it... it, it why? I mean, I was pretty excited at the journal when I first played this game. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's a journal. What the hell is a journal? Oh my god, I can see what I did. Even though it's only like a good few lines worth, and it kind of only appears if you've done certain things like battled a trainer or gone, started from a town or went to a town or entered a gym or something or other or being a certain champion. I don't know. But then it kind of got boring. So yeah. Zawa, who the hell are you? Oh. Excuse me, is my little Barry here? Oh, no he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? Yeah, he managed to get off scot-free. Lucas didn't try stopping him, did he? That boy shouted about going on an adventure. Then he bolted! He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry. Dawn will deliver that to him. What? Won't you, Dawn? Um, well, oh, really? You do that for me? But I, I mean, I just. Uh, uh, God damn it, now I'm a delivery man. I mean, delivery person. Bye bye, Dawn. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he probably. He would probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my barrack. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for doing all that. Uh, anyway. I'm pretty much gonna end it off here. I've been recording for like nearly 40 minutes now. Still got a minute to go until it hits 40 minutes, but whatever. Uh, we've really done a lot. I mean, I have anyway. So, um. Yeah, so when we come back for more exciting Tony Geek's Pokemon Diamond adventure, we will head off to Jubilife City to, for some reason, deliver a parcel to Barry. 
because we uh, are a delivery man, woman, I mean person, person, yes, person, anyway, see you then.